Are We Alone? Uh, after watching this one? Wow. Um, my opinion is a little... We, uh, we, we watched this uh, documentary on Netflix called... Uh, what, it was called Un- Un- Unacknowledged. Unacknowledged, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it was a documentary about UFOs, really. Aliens, extraterrestrial, life out there, the cover, cover up by the government. Yeah. Now, conspiracy I've, theories I've watched a whole bunch of these, and what they generally tend to do is they bring on a lot of crackpots and uh, yokels, and maybe one person that has credibility. But what I found about this one was how many credible? retired yeah. army people. Lots of credible uh, sources like, in this one. Retired Air Force Colonel, retired Air Force uh, Lieutenant, retired Air Force Colonel. Wasn't the guy who actually was the main talker in the... He was some retired person, wasn't he? He worked for CIA. CIA, a CIA retired guy, and it's like... Wait, wait, wait. These aren't nut jobs. No, These are like... (laughs) Wait, wait, wait. Hold And it was just like... I started paying attention. It's like... Because I expected the crackpot. See, you know... um. Uh, the alien astronaut theory, you know, the guy in the aliens, one with the hair, and mm-hmm. it's always like, aliens. Yeah. Yeah. I, I figured mean. a bunch of them going, aliens. Yeah. And, no, this was, this is the, this was... Um, it was a very uh, in, eye-opening. I, it didn't really open my eyes, because I've always thought that we've <laughs> always, like, you have to, log- just logically, in my brain, I go, we're in a vast universe, and... If, how could we be? How alone? could we be the only ones? Yeah. And I've said before on the show that aliens don't come to us because we're like the Kardashians of the universe. You know, when you watch or Jersey Shore, when you watch that shit, you go, "Oh God." Yeah, and uh, humankind comes across yeah, they, very much like that. Because you think about this: if they have the ability to travel between planets, interplanetary travel. Yep. Just imagine that the, the technology they have and the way they look at us and how we are with each other and how. You know, it's like, uh, like you, if you look at your neighbors fighting, right? If you if they're always fighting outside, how do you look at them? You go, well, they're not very. You kind of look at them. You look down on them, right? Yes, you and shun you, them, and, and you look at them as uh, uh, inferior to you. So, what do you think the aliens do to us? Because we're always arguing with each other, and we're always talking about how my feelings are hurt because somebody said the word orange, and I don't like that color. And um, but this one definitely like. I don't, like, I'm not huge in conspiracy theories, but at the same time, they're very interesting because they make you question things, and I like to question things. Yeah. All the yeah. time. They make they, you they, ask questions, they, they make you wonder. Sense of, yeah. A, a different sense of views, like, yeah, um, the aliens, uh, the alien astronaut theory was, is, is an interesting theory because, you know, when they're, they're showing you some of the ink and uh, pictograms, and then they add a little bit of color to it, you know, and it's like, oh, this could be a, an astronaut on a ship. This is one thing off, I've always, this is, like, this is one thing I've always wondered. Uh, we have these fucking amazing cameras, yet nobody can get a crystal clear picture of a fucking UFO yet? Like, come on. Come on. That's like one of the crackpot theories that I'm like, come well, on. Okay, Th- that, that's always been the thing. It's hey. kind of like, how long have we had cameras? We've had cameras for... People have had cameras readily available to them for like the past thirty years. Hey, it's a UFO. Let's pull out the nineteen eighty triple exposure camera to take a picture. Yeah, not the iPhone ten X that I have in my pocket over here, but the nineteen eighty camera over here. Click. Oh, it didn't work so well. It's very grainy. Yeah. Huh? Like okay. Now, now, in all fairness, in um, I'm pretty sure I brought this up in headlines, but I guess uh, the 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 United States Army actually really uh, United States Air Force actually released uh, cockpit footage of a UFO, a real one, and um, I guess there's this uh, target camera for their guns. Uh, and I guess uh, when they track something with the the camera, once you lock on, it locks on. And so they actually released 45 seconds of this thing being a UFO on the camera. And then you're looking at it going, really? That's how the United States Air Force looks through their cameras? Fuck. That's like CTV footage from the 1990s. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> it's like... You pay billions of dollars into the middle there. This is the best you can yeah, get. This is the best you can get. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. Crap. It was. It was definitely. It was definitely eye opening. It was definitely made you go. Hmm. Um. 
but like I said, it didn't really it changed my view. I've always thought that we've we have extra terrestrials. It was other so people. nice to see non crackpot people mm-hmm. on it. That's the part that excited me the most. Uh, seeing this, see, okay, even even one of the uh, I think he was um, the CIA guy. Um, he was like, uh, he's talking, he's talking about the, you know, classified stuff, and I use quotations there. But then uh, the the uh, documentarian, he asked him uh, another question, and he's like, well, that stuff is highly classified. And he's like, well, we can't talk about it. He's like, no, that's actually classified. We can't talk about that. And at that point in time, you go, what the hell is classified that even though you just spilt your guts about UFOs yeah, that you and can't talk about still flying saucers and stuff and it's like they're still classified stuff? Yeah. You're spilling your beans. Yeah. But you still hold to the so it, it's it it's interesting. I love the fact that it was non crackpot theory. The part that I didn't like was um, this guy is a doctor. Uh, a trauma surgeon? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he worked, yeah. And he was, he was talking about how he had to meet with somebody, somebody from the CAA, about talking about uh, putting together a dossier to present to the president to update them on something. And he started getting choked up. And I was like, what? How, what? How are you getting emotional about talking to somebody about something, about something. Like, you get choked up if you're talking about your dead dog, or your missing wife, or dead children. You don't get choked up about talking to somebody from the CIA. So, that was, that was the only thing that threw me, that made me go, maybe he's the crackpot. Hmm, maybe. (laughs) And, but, other than that, uh, it, the, they, they, they didn't use any grainy, um, uh, what was it? They had Nazi Germany uh, test footage from some uh, secret project about this thing that had anti gravity, and people talked about anti gravity, which was really this. This could actually be real. Um, uh, they showed um, UFO footage from I think it was like twenty eleven something in China. They showed some other ones that weren't the as grainy as but you know you're talking about 2011 you still have decent iPhones that could have taken better well they were kidding it to like you know the movie of Independence Day right where the aliens are going to come and attack us yes and it's going to unite us as some grand world fight against yeah. the aliens and stuff like that and it's like they, they use the word like they were talking about false flags and stuff like that and you know, we've talked about that stuff here yeah um, and uh, so you know it was it was it was it was probably one of the better crackpot UFO videos of documentaries. Yes, you know I agree. Um, conspiracy conspiracy theorists are always like looked at as tinfoil wearing nut jobs. Nut jobs, and it's like, well, as I somebody think, who prescribes two conspiracy theories that enjoys delving into that little rabbit hole, it's always this one didn't feel like. Nearly as a nut job yeah. in... It's always the person who's, you know, standing away from the group yelling, look at me, look at me, who's looked at as the craziest until people realize that... He might they, have actually been right. They should be over there, yeah. not over here. Um, and and, and, and they, they point that out right off the bat. It's the easiest way to hide something is in plain sight. Yeah. And they were saying, it's like, oh, you know, all these people, these scientists don't want to say anything because they come across as crackpots, and then all of a sudden everything that they do is a crackpot, and they are now excluded from the scientific community, and they're pariahs. And so it's kind of like, well, yeah, that always made sense at least to me we want to we want to um what is this whether we want to uh um support inclusion and and everything's about equality and being nice to one another but (laughs) there's so much like it's just great yeah we're such hypocrites oh you 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 can't do um uh, you're allowed to have an opinion except not that one it has to be my yeah. opinion. <laughs> your line of opinion, as long as it matches mine. Yeah. Because if it yeah. doesn't, you're stupid and you're an idiot. And oh, you think UFOs? You're an idiot. Oh, you're a flat earther. You're an idiot. It's like, well, I kind of look at the flat earthers and go, okay. You uh, you have your own thought. That's okay. And somebody probably looks at me and goes, "You're an Oilers fan? Gay? 
You have your own thoughts, <laughs> which yeah. I do. You believe in uh, aliens? Of course I do. Hell yeah. Aliens, ghosts, all that kind of stuff. I fucking believe in all that shit. Hell yeah. We're not alone on this planet. Just on this planet. Or sorry, in this yeah, yeah, universe. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're I, not alone again, on this planet. I'm uh, sitting right next to somebody. Yeah. Again, th- this was uh, actually a rather interesting documentary. Um, I applaud them. They've done an excellent job. Other than that one guy getting emotional about one part is like, really? That's what's making you cry? Crap. Maybe it was you a might big, be the crackpot. Maybe it was a big inv- event in his life and he was just getting emotional reliving it. Who knows? But like you said, it didn't have all the crackpots that normally are in these yeah, weird yeah. shows that make you go... Yeah, yeah. And they, they bring out the first one and it's like, he's crazy. Yeah. Oh, what did I get myself... No, it's like, oh, no, he's you're not re- crazy. You're, you're retired. You're, you're retired... Uh, Military, okay, great. You're retired military too. You're actually a colonel. Ooh, you're high up in the military. You guys aren't allowed to talk. Yeah. Period. Yeah. Interesting. And then another one. And then a CIA. CIA. What? Yeah. No, they kill CIA agents when they talk. Yeah. And it's like, uh, maybe this hiding in plain sight might be a little bit more so truthful truth, truth, than yeah. the, oh, yeah. the ones believed. Definitely, because people don't believe what they see. They always think there's something else behind it. Yeah, yeah. Like, the, oh, the, this is guilty. Oh, here's a million dollars. What's the catch? What do I well, gotta do? Honestly, yes. There's always a catch when it's... Oh, there's no traffic. What is the catch? <laughs> yeah, it's like, where am I gonna get screwed on my road where today? It's like, I'm going really fast. Yeah. Hmm... What's going on here? <laughs> Did I just walk into a trap? Yeah. yeah. Did a trap just walk into me? I mean, PUBG, hmm, this crate is awfully quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's nobody around this crate. Mm. Uh, oh, sniper. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go check this thing out on uh, non Netflix. It's on Netflix. Unacknowledged. Um, great show. Um, it'll just. Yeah, it's, it's worth it'll it. It'll blow your it's mind. Well, it won't. It, it might blow your mind. It sure didn't blow mine because, like I said, I've always, I've always thought about this stuff, and I've always. It, for those of you who don't understand the UFOs conspiracy, this will be a great idea. Oh yeah. For those of you who understand the UFO conspiracy, you'll go. Fuck! I'm not as crazy. Crazy as I thought. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll give you some insight to other stuff as well. Like it'll give you insight to how you how the use of false flags are. Um, It'll it, like because well, we talked about it before, but it's still it's another eye opener for that. I really took that for some reason because I was like, hey, we talked about that, and I kind of went, oh, yeah, very interesting. Because I really had no idea what those were until we kind of delved into them on the show here. So go check it out. Come back, let us know what you guys thought. Yeah. Do you believe we are alone, or does ET visit us on a regular basis? No, he just watches us and laughs at us. Yeah. Yeah, that that would be my guess. Too. They pay nine ninety nine a month to watch us. <sighs> Anyways, subscribe, cause we're free. Yeah. Later. See ya.